Hey mama, it is Thanksgiving tomorrow and I am just jumping in here with a quick video for you about gratitude and um, just to go along with Thanksgiving and a few really simple things that you can do to kind of recenter yourself, calm yourself if you're getting overwhelmed by everything going on this week, this year, and so on. So uh, I wanted to say I am very grateful for you, for everyone involved in the Anxiety Club, as well as everyone involved with the podcast and who have been on the podcast, who have listened, who've given, who, you who've given feedback. And if you want to be a guest, just let me know. I would love to have you and share your story. Um, in, on that, in that regard, on that aspect, there are some really exciting things that I am planning for the new year, which are really going to involve giving back. Um, really, my whole purpose is helping you, helping moms everywhere, and um, really giving back as much as possible. So I'm going to start a, in addition to really wanting to help more one-on-one -on -one, in addition to the club group, uh, I'm going to be donating the first month of any new person who signs up. Um, I'll have months designated for specific causes, and then other months will be going straight to either a children's hospital or the Children's Miracle Network. Um, so I am extremely excited about that and very hopeful that um, that will help bring some more moms in to help support you and for you to meet and interact with. And if there are any charities that or topics that you are passionate about, I would love to hear those. And um, I wanna say thank you to Carrie uh, because this all started with a crazy idea I had given and sent to her. <laughs> I want to thank, thank you, Carrie, for um, putting up with my craziness and my <laughs> ambitions. <laughs> but this has really sent me on a journey, and I'm so thankful to you for that. And I'm thankful to all of you moms in the club for just going along on this journey and sharing in this and sharing your ups, your downs, struggles, joys, um, and really just forming the most supportive community. All right. I could say more and more, but I will just show you a few things to kind of ground yourself if you are feeling overwhelmed or kind of just to work out a little bit if you are sinking too much into your body, if you are preparing anything for Thanksgiving uh, on your own or with family. I notice any, I've been doing a lot of the hip leans with the mom stance lately, so need to get myself out of that. All right. All right, so when you are in the kitchen, changing baby, any of those things, what I mean the hip lean is this is a nice neutral stance with your shoulders over your ribs, over your hips, knees and ankles, and your tailbone is pressed out that way. Mom stance comes in and we hold the kid, hold the baby, and our tailbone tucks under, our hips push forward and up, or we just hinge our hips forward, our shoulders stay back, and I do this a lot against the counter, um, prepping for meals, anything. Your hips go forward, then your shoulders roll forward, so you're in this not such a great position. That can cause further issues with your core, 
um, because that pushes pressure there, that can push pressure down on your pelvic floor. And it makes your hip flexors do all the work and your glutes are just hanging there doing nothing. So you wanna flip out of that, you wanna take your hips back, really lengthen your legs, pull your belly button in and up, that nice little core squeeze, pelvic floor contraction, and you just want to make sure your glutes are engaged. And if you're having a hard time finding that position, I like to have uh, moms put their feet a little bit further than hip width apart. You're going to go down into a squat, down until you feel like your glutes squeeze. And what you're going to do is you're just going to stand straight up from there and your pelvis should be neutral. So you just want to press your tush back, stand straight up, and you don't want to tuck and squeeze your butt. So there are more ways to work your tush than just scooping under and squeezing. So again, just down and squeeze up. And if you ever feel like you're really in that position a lot, a great little tool tip to do is just find a time that you will remember to do some squats, do some plies, and you really want to focus on just squeezing that tush and back up. And you can even do like little down and up, inch up an inch squats. And all just to get your glutes working and make them refire, make your brain <laughs> remember to use them. Uh, and then stand up and be in a good position. So I love to do those things when I really notice uh, brushing my teeth. That's like what I use as my cue. So in the morning and at night, I know I'm going to have some time. If I haven't done anything throughout the day, I, at least when I'm brushing my teeth, I go, okay, I'm going to do a quick little, little squats, really just focus, engaging that core, keeping that tight, and engaging my glutes. And that helps me throughout the day, and then also start out my next day. All right. A few things that you can do if you are overwhelmed. Um, just some really quick physical movement can really bring yourself out of that like upstairs brain, downstairs brain type of thing. So a lot of times when we're overwhelmed, not able to process everything that's going on or overstimulated, kind of we go up into like our lizard brain, our upstairs brain, and it's hard for our downstairs brain to <laughs> like pull everything together and be rational. And this is another thing I love for kids too, is are they having an upstairs brain moment or a downstairs brain moment? Are they able to be rational? Are they able to see what's going on? Or is it just complete um, physiology, I'll say, that's taking over? So what we can do you can have your kids do this too, is I like to just start by like shaking everything out and taking some deep breaths and then just doing some nice circles, moving kind of fast and breathing and then reversing your circles here. Concentrating on that breathing. Take a nice bend down and up, stretching up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. All right, and if you can't, if you're holding <laughs> your kid anything and you can't do any of the arm stuff, sometimes just I love to just hold and just start doing like a little hip side to side. You get a little added bonus too because you squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes. So you're also using your glutes and working those out at the same time. And just this movement really can help get you back. <sighs> 
from focusing, from ruminating on whatever you're, whatever's bothering you and really get you back into using your rational downstairs brain. And then you're able to like challenge yourself and say, is this thing that I'm worried about? Is this some, is this valid? Is this actually going to happen? Am I able to manage that concern when it comes up? Is it a true concern right now? Or is it just a worry? And that's a great way to kind of address a lot of worries, you know, those scary thoughts, those, um, like it's the baby, some of the things we talked about with some of the guests on the podcast for new moms is, oh, is the baby, if I sleep, will the baby be okay? Um, yeah. Challenge your thoughts, say yes. <laughs> and, um, then Sorry, I lost where I was going because I heard the dog barking. So that's just a great way for you to So just after doing that little dance and getting back into your downstairs brain, you can really Focus on challenging your thought and moving on from that thought. All right. Well, I hope that you have an amazing Thanksgiving with your family on Zoom, with your family just at your house. Whatever you're doing, please be safe. Stay grounded. And I cannot wait to see you next week.